so today i'm going to show you how to make this particular necklace here it's got a really colorful neck piece and then a medallion style pendant um, all right so i'm going to start by showing you how to make this particular neck piece it's a really easy process and um, before we do that actually i'm just going to talk you through the materials that we have so we've got these and obviously we have all our cords here these are all uh, 0.9 cords you can also use your 0.4 but obviously you need more then we have a cab you can use any size really that will work as well you're just going to have to adjust the knots um, off the bezel knots around the stone itself to make sure it fits macrame cord endings ribbon endings uh, really useful for that obviously then our scissors and a pair of pliers that we're going to be using to close off the crimp cord endings um, all right, so I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to begin by showing you how to make the neck piece. For that, I'm going to just shift this aside and I've got something set out here already. So this is what we're going to be using. For that, you can use any of the um, 0.4 or 0.9 cords that we have. Now for the neck piece that I have created here is quite thick. Um, I think I've used 24 cords in total um, divided into two parts. Okay, so for the demonstration purposes, I'm going to go with a few less. But the thicker you want this particular design, um, the more you, you add in the cords. So I'm going to set this aside. And what we're going to do with this is separate out the cords into two sections. Um, I'm not going to count, but obviously you make sure that you have them equal parts. The, the more equal, the better. And all we're going to do is we're going to take one side. And we are going to make sure the cords are nice and straight. We're going to take the one side and we're going to wrap it around the other. It's just one loop. So that's just a simple loop. We're going to pull that tight. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the other side and go around the first column in an anti-clockwise motion from over the top and then pull that through and then pull that tight and make sure the neater you work the better pull it tight like so and then repeat with the other cord so this time you go clockwise over the left column through and pull tight and this is how you make this really really easy and so effective um, and the more colors you add and obviously the color more colorful it is you could have you know each column the same color um, and then have a different kind of effect it's beautiful to create really easy to make great beginners technique and really effective as a neck piece so that's what you would do and then to finish off you would then take cord endings and then create spiral knots so you take two cords from either side it doesn't matter which color unless you want it to be a specific one you pull that tight and then you just keep doing spiral knots so i'm going to start with just three and then what i'm doing once i've done about three which will secure the cords i'm just coming in and I'm trimming off about two of the cords and I'm going to continue do another three and what this does basically reduces the amount of cords that you're having um, and what will happen at the end is you have something like this and it thins out so I would be left with roughly about three four cords maybe enough to fit into that uh, setting you'll just have to figure out what size cord ending you have and then clamp that in and this is how you make the neck part so let's move on for the actual pendant itself and what we need to create is a bezel so we have the section here and this is done by creating a section of lark's head knots okay so for that you need um two cords as your core and the working cord so i was meant to say for your neck piece the cord length needs to be about a meter and a half um I meant, i've got to mention that because it's quite long now for the bale it doesn't need to be that quite long for your core cord so probably about 50 centimeters each side is enough 
that'll work. For your working cord, it needs to be a little bit longer. Again, I would go another meter and a half with that, simply because you're doing a lot of knotting with that, okay? And the way to create this is you take the right hand core cord. I will start with the right. You can start with the left if you want to. And we're bringing in the working cord, and I'm going to go over the core like so. Pull the cord through, and then just pull up tight, bring it down, go under the core cord like so, and pull it back through. And what that, in essence, creates is a lark's head knot. And then we are just pulling that tight. And we're going to move over, grab the left hand core, we're going to do the same thing. Now remember, this is a mirrored image, so it's going to be on the other side. So we're going to do is go over like so. So we're going clockwise this time. Pull it, go down. Again, go under your core and bring the working cord through the little loop we've just created and then pull that tight. Now, it's a tiny bit fiddly. It takes a little bit of practice to get the gap right for the stone. So usually what I do before I carry on, I take the stone and I judge it. And I see if the stone fits nicely within, then that's great because you want to make sure you cover the edges of the stone, both on the top and at the bottom. So this gap is roughly about right. Okay, so... And you would just carry on, you would zigzag back and forth until you have enough of a length. So I've got a couple of sections that I have already prepared, so I'm going to set this aside. So this is what you would get. Okay, so this is the bail, uh, the bezel created for the stone. And when you finish, you just take your bail and you make sure that it roughly fits around the stone. It's usually better to have it a tiny bit bigger than, than too small because you can always condense the actual um, the actual um, knots. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a pin and I'm going to wrap this around the pin because that will give me a little bit more leverage for what I'm going to do next. So I'm going to take my stone and what I'm doing is I take the two bottom cords and I'm going to create a little basket. So I'm going to pull this tight, not too tight. You don't want to bunch up your knots. And then I'm just going to shift this up a bit so you can see. Yeah, that's better. So I'm just going to pull this tight. And then do the same thing again. Pull tight. And then close the knot. You may need to adjust it later on. Um, it's fine. You can open it up. So that's the cradle creator, which makes it a lot easier. So now we're going to take the stone and we're going to place the stone within that cradle. So I'm just going to set it down. So this is what we've got. Take your pin again and put it through the bottom. So now what we need to do next is tie off. The top. So we're going to take the two cords that come out the top of the bell and we're just going to tie this shut. And don't worry if it doesn't sit perfectly because you can adjust that later. There we go. So now's the time you can pull. You'll need to reverse it and tie the knot. Pull it a little bit tighter. And then just keep doing that until you're satisfied with the fit. Okay, so that's fine. So now the stone is set inside here. So the next step, I'll use my pin again to keep this in place. Um, and now we have got cords, lots of cords. So we're going to be using this as our uh, bail cords. So we're going to take one of the back cords. If it's too short, you're going to need to go and get an extra cord in, but these are long enough because we've gone quite long with our working cords. I'm going to use one from the actual bail. And what I'm going to do is tie double half hitches. So one on the left, like that. So I've got attached one on the left and I'm going to bring out 
the cord on the other side it was actually meant to go the other way so I need to open that up again because the cord's supposed to come out towards the right so I'm going to set this apart take it apart and start again so make sure that my first cord I'm going to attach this with a right double half hitch so that's one two then we're going to move across to the other side and do one two so now we have the first section of the bell create so we need to do switch hands so we're going to take the working cord flip it over and switch the working cord from underneath and we're going to do a right double half hitch because we're knotting from left to right and what this does it just switches direction and then allows you to keep knotting and just do the same and then you would reverse again like that and then obviously you would carry on until you get something of this length all right so then what you would do once you have a long enough length probably about 15 knots or so i'm not too sure how many i made maybe 12 fold it over make sure your neck piece fits through and then all i did is i've used two of the back cords to bring the working cords down i folded it over and then used the back cords to actually tie the bell in um, and then all I've done after that's finished is I've used a lighter, trimmed off all the cords, and because it's nylon, you can um, you can actually singe it and melt it, um, and it will um, it will perfectly melt off the knots and it won't open up. So um, yeah, that's how it works, and this is how easy it is to make this pendant. Um, if you've got any questions, obviously don't hesitate to ask. And looking forward to see your designs.